We had a pilot program in the summer of 2007 where we brought a Hopi father and son from the Hopi Nation with us down to, to Peru. This first trip was very moving and very spiritual and, and it brought my son and I closer together. I'm Carla Woody and I am the founder of Kenosis, which I founded in 1999 to do spiritual travel programs to places like Peru, to work with the, the Caro Indians and uh, Don Americo Yobar, who's a well-known mystic, Peruvian mystic, and as well to work in Mexico with the, the Lacandon Maya and the Highland Maya and Chiapas. Ruben had a run from the pyramids. It all started from there, this 500-year-old prophecy where the condor and eagle will fly together. And when that happens, all the tribes will come together and that's happening right now in Peru. The, the Quero had a vision that the conquistadores were coming and as a result they left Cusco and went up to what is now known as Quero which is a mountain and they're living about 17,000 feet where they remained isolated for about 400 years and the significance of that is that they were able to preserve their tradition without the influence of the Spanish. They understood the state of the world even though that they were isolated in that way. This is the, the shaman class, the priest class of the Inca and they had these recognitions of what was happening outside their world and as a result they wanted to get their teachings out to a world that really needs to identify once again what is what is real and what is what matters and they identified Don Americo Yabar when he was a young man as a bridge to be able to go out into the world with the teachings and so on and to to offer them to other people so that when any of us go down and engage with the Quero or, or take these teachings in then it affects us as well and we too become carriers of that ancient knowledge and we can bring it back. Uh, eagles lived on the mountain and I, I also brought some of that water back from there because it was very pure and very clear and uh, I brought it up to the Hopi reservation and it was used in the ceremonies and it was very strong water, good water, it brought rain for us. So the significance to me of bringing the, the Hopi down to be with the Quero and the other Quechua Indians is that from my perspective they're very similar to the Quero in that they've been able to hold their ancient traditions and they've also had that isolation for, for so many hundreds of years in, in that way and to, to share traditions and to, to share that common thread is something that I think that we can all benefit from. It strengthens all of us. The Quero came down and had a ceremony with us and we, they had an altar uh, where we put all our uh, personal possessions and things that were dear to us. And I put my medicine pouch there because I carry many herbs, protection herbs, and the Osha root, uh, we call it Hungapi, and it's uh, Osupu, the Tewas call it, uh, Sus, uh, that's the Osha root, and in English we call it bear root. And um, I gave this root to all the people there in the circle. It's a protection thing, and I carry protection uh, herbs in my medicine pouch. It just brought a, a new depth to the significance of, of what we were doing and what we could bring home, and as well as uh, creating that connection there with the indigenous folks in Peru. Uh, I also carve and, and I'm carving the putting the this prophecy together. I'm making a feather with a kachina head on it. I put condor feather on one side and an eagle feather on the other side. That's. Uh, something that I'm using as, as an artist, I'm using what I've seen in Peru, the plant life and the animal life and the flowers and, and the things that are as part of my artwork. So 
knowing that what I really wanted to do was to be able to do this in a much larger way and as a result then established a nonprofit organization called Kenosis Spirit Keepers. And what Kenosis does is it's really the whole purpose of Kenosis is to preserve that um, the indigenous wisdom, the integrity of it, and to provide opportunities for cross-cultural exchange and for uh, community building opportunities, educational programs, and, and so on. My son and I have become more positive on the outlook of life. And uh, it, it just had a positive effect more than anything. It would really be a good thing for young people to be able to have that kind of experience early on when they're making those really important decisions in life about what matters and what is the, the path that, that they want to take. It changed me, it changed him also. Not only that, it brought us closer together uh, as a father and son. It creates a kind of connection that allows people to really begin to understand what is important. The prophecy is coming to me because we're going, we're going out and meeting these people and we're all meeting together. Mm -hmm. So that it, it is true that, that this uh, prophecy is coming to effect. By continuing to bring the Hopi elders and young people down year after year is to develop that, that cultural relationship between the tribes. It's not just a one-time thing. It becomes a, a part of, of their interchange and their community as well. In whole, this experience has uh, opened up my heart and my mind to more uh, uh, the people's uh, feelings and what they say and all that. And I always want to show myself in a positive way in the village. Mm -hmm. You know, helping out during ceremonies and, and uh, it's. It's just it, from your heart, the things that we do, um, out of kindness, uh, we can help one another in that sense. It, it'll bring uh, peace, more peace to the world, peace to our homes and our land, our village, our people.